Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we're adding to the D family. We're doing D average. I got videos on D lookup, D max, D min, D count, D sum, why you shouldn't use D first, D last, and lots of other related stuff. Today we're covering one I haven't covered yet, and it's D average. And guess what? It's, it, you can use it to take an average of some stuff. Vanessa from Mesa, Arizona asked a very simple question. What's the easiest way to calculate my average customer worth? Very important metric for a business to have. Oh, wait, I forgot something. I forgot the question mark. All right. Yeah, Vanessa, it's important to know. I know what my average customer worth is, right? That's important because if you have like an ad spend, you know, if you know, let's say your average customer is worth $20 and it's costing you $25 in ad spend, that's no, you can't do that. So yeah, let's figure it out. This will be what I call an expert level video. Expert is sandwiched between beginner and developer. So you don't need to know the programming stuff. We, can, we don't have to have you know, any VBA to do this, but it's a little more advanced than the beginners. So if you're just starting out, eh, maybe finish my beginner course first. Definitely go watch my D lookup video first. D lookup is like the granddaddy of all of the D functions, D max, D min, whatever. I got videos for all of them pretty much. But this is the one that started it all. This is the easiest one to get. Let you look up one value from one record. Okay. I'll put links to all the rest of them down below. Now I already have an order entry system built. So I have customers and orders and I can calculate their average worth from that. So if you want to learn how I built that whole thing, go watch this. It's free. You can watch all my, the whole thing, customer building and building all the invoices and the order entry system. All right, so, you, so we're on the same page. When I get to actually calculating their worth, you know where I got all this stuff from. And on top of that, I'm going to use an aggregate query to calculate the total of each customer's orders, right? So if customer number one has six orders, it's going to add those all up in an aggregate query for all of the customers, right? And so that's going to be that. So these are all free videos. They're on my website. They're on my YouTube. Go watch those and then come on back. And you can see it right here, right? The order sum by customer. That's exactly what I'm calculating in the aggregate query. All right, so in here I got customers. Customers have orders, orders have details, right? We take these order details, we add those all up to get an order total. And then I've got some queries over here like my order summary query that takes each order and sums up the items on each order. So the order total for order one is $4,200. Now you can see here like customer one has multiple orders. I think he's the only customer that does. I didn't put any other orders in for any other customers, but what we want to do is get rid of the order information from this query. And then we'll have a list of just each customer's total, right? So notice customer one is 4,200 plus order three. There is uh, 360. So that should be 4560 if I do this right. So I'm going to come in here. This is an aggregate query, right? And we're going to get rid of all the stuff that is specific to just the order, except for the customer ID, obviously, because the customer ID is unique. That's, that's basically from the customer table. It's a foreign key. So we'll get rid of the order ID and the order date, and we'll get rid of is paid. Now what it's going to do is group by customer ID. So every customer will have their own row, their own record, and then it'll add up all of their order totals. And there we go. See, 4560. That's exactly what I was looking for. And if all these other people had multiple orders, you'd have one record in here per customer. Okay. Now that I have each customer's total worth, total worth, I can calculate my average customer worth by simply averaging that field, that column, right? So let's save this. I'm going to save this. I know I'm ruining the order summary queue. That's fine. I'm going to save it. It's still order summary queue. It's okay. All right, now we can go back to the main menu or wherever you want to put it. We can use D average to calculate the average of that field. It's order totally order total on order summary queue. Okay. So average customer worth. All right, let's open this guy up. I'll call it right here average customer worth. And this is going to be a currency value. Okay, so the control source is going to be what? I'm going to zoom in, Shift F2, so you guys can see this better. It's going to be equals D average. It's AVG. I know it's confusing. When do you got to remember it's AVG? When is it average spelled out? Like in Excel, it's average spelled out. 
and everybody always gets that wrong in Excel. But here it's DAVG, the average of order total from the order summary queue. Now, just like the other D functions, you could add criteria here if you wanted to. You could say like we're customer I, you know, ID is whatever, I, whatever you want to have. But we're just we're just doing the whole table, the whole query. So that's all you need right there. Hit OK, close it, close it, save it, open it. Boom, there you go, there's your average customer worth. Let's see if that makes sense. Yeah, because that one, see this is why average is a bad number because this one thing here threw it off. It's like when they look at the average wealth of Americans, right? You got a few knuckleheads at the very top in the trillions that are throwing everybody else off. <laughs> That's why median is a much better uh, indicator. There is no D median function. So that's unfortunate, but I do teach you how to calculate median in this video. I'll put a link down below as well as links for D max, D min, D count, D sum, why you shouldn't use D first, D last. NZ is another one you're going to find useful with all these domain functions. So yeah, there's, there's, there's lots to learn if you want to learn this stuff. If you want to learn more about these, I cover them in a lot more detail in my access expert level 29 class. I'll put a link to this down below as well. Aggregate functions here they are some average count max min first lace the laced lace what's laced the domain aggregate functions we spend a lot more time on all these and uh yeah there's all kinds of cool stuff more, lots more to learn on my website but that's it for d average I've covered all of the domain aggregate functions now all the d functions except there's two left that I haven't done there's d standard deviation and d variance and I know those are for statistics nerds I used to be a statistic nerd back in like high school and early college, but I haven't done a lot of that lately. If you are a statistic nerd and you want to see some examples on that, post some comments down below. And if I get enough people interested, I'll make a video on it. That's how I do it. Uh, and, and one of the reasons why I did this video is because I did a search for D average and my video didn't show up in the Google results in the, in the top spot. So I had to make another D average video. <laughs> So I'm telling all of you right now, if you ever do a Google search for anything access related and I don't show up, I want to know exactly what your Google search phrase was and I'm going to make a video for it. That's my goal. I got to get on there. <laughs> That's going to do it though for your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions manufacturing experts specializing in access and SQL Server, Sammy Shama with Shama Consultancy, a certified Microsoft Access expert who offers personalized one-on-one -on -one tutoring, and Amanda Nicole Consulting specializing in helping businesses move from complex Excel sheets to an access database. You'll find links to the Diamond sponsors in the description down below the video. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the video's up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed.
But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.